Hey guys, welcome to evaluating log in LN without a calculator. In future videos, we'll see how to use the calculator, but sometimes you don't need to, and there is a quicker way. That's what we're going to go over today. So what you'll learn, again, how to evaluate logs without a calculator and how to evaluate LN without a calculator. So there's some quick kind of shortcut things that we can do if the problem looks a certain way. So how to evaluate log. So examples. So what if I have something like log base 5 of 125? Well, this begs the question, 5 to what power is equal to 125? Oh, well, I happen to know that 5 to the third power is 125. So I just evaluated log base 5 of 125, that equals 3, without a calculator. Okay. So sometimes we can do these things if your input is in fact a power of your base, like a nice power, like 3, 2, or 5, or something like that. So the next one, how do I do log of 10,000? So remember, log without the base is really log base 10. So this is asking the question, 10 to what power is equal to 10,000? Um, let's see, well I happen to know the answer here is 4. 10 to the 4th power is 10,000, so log of 10,000 is equal to 4. Okay, what about a little bit more difficult? Log of 1 over 100. So how do we do this? 10 to what power equals 1 over 100? Is there another way I could express 1 over 100? Hmm, maybe using my negative exponents. Oh, 1 over 100 is actually 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay, so my answer here would then be negative 2. 10 to the negative 2 power will give me 1 over 100. All right, what if I have log base a of a to the fourth? So a to what power is equal to a to the fourth? Oh, a to the fourth power is equal to a to the fourth. So as you can see here, these two bases will cancel out, and you'll just be left with 4. Okay, what about 3 to the log base 3 of 5? Well, again, inverses. So this is an exponential, this is a log. Logs and exponentials cancel each other out, especially when they have the same base. So these two guys cancel. So the answer here is just going to be 5. What about this one? What about log of negative 1? So there is no base, so it's 10. So 10 to what power is equal to negative 1? Um, well, we saw that when we raise 10 to negative powers, we get fractions, but they were still positive fractions. So 10 to the negative third would be 1 over 1,000. 10 to the negative four would be 1 over 10,000, but these are all still positive. And then 10 to any positive number would just give me really big numbers like 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, so on and so on. So how do I ever get to negative numbers? Well, I can't. So that brings up a really big concept, which is we cannot take the log or ln of negatives. It's just not going to work because like what you saw, we can't get to negative. We can get to really, 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 really teeny positives, but we can't ever go negative. So that was for logs. So now let's see how to evaluate the ln, again, without a calculator. So what if I have the ln of e to the 1 half? Well, anytime you have an inverse, inverse a composition of inverse functions, they cancel out, and e and ln are inverses, so these cancel out, so I'll just be left with one half. What about ln of e to the x plus y? Oh, inverse functions again, cancel out. What about e to the ln of a? Oh, e to the ln, inverse functions, those guys cancel, so I'll just be left with a. ln of e to the 4 thirds, oh look, an inverse pair again. So that'll just be 4 thirds. What about e to the ln of 1? Oh, e to the ln inverse pairs cancel out, so I'll just get 1. And same thing here. What about e to the ln of 2x? Oh, inverse pair again. Cancel, 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 cancel. So that'll just leave me with 2x. So the moral of the story here is anytime you take the ln of e, it cancels. And anytime you take e to the ln, it's also going to cancel because of inverse functions. Compositions of inverse functions cancel out. or more likely just equal one. Okay, so whatever your argument is, is just going to drop out, and that'll be what your answer is. And A over here. 
Uh, so thanks. So that was a real quick video just how to evaluate ln and log uh, by hand without a calculator. In certain circumstances, we don't need the calculator like what we saw. So I hope that helps. Any questions, please just ask, and I'll see you guys in the next video.